There was a time, a year ago, six months ago even, that Ons Jebir might not have recovered from the deficit she found herself in during the Wimbledon semi-finals. Down a set, down a break in the second set, so close to being just a game from defeat, she credits a sports psychologist with helping her understand how to deal with those on-court situations, with managing to keep her focus, keep her strokes on target. Thanks in part to that and a steadiness down the stretch and center court on Thursday, Jabir is on her way to a second consecutive final at the All England Club and her third title match in the past five Grand Slam tournaments. Now she wants to win a trophy. The sixth seeded Jabir earned the right to play for one again by beating big hitting Arena Sabalenka 6 7, 6 4, 6 3. Jabir will need to get past Marketa Vandrasova, a left hander from the Czech Republic, on Saturday. Vandrasova became the first unseeded women's finalist at Wimbledon since. Billie Jean King in 1963 by eliminating Elena Svitolina 6-3-6-3. Wherever you turn in Miami these days, something reminds you of the arrival of the Argentine soccer legend. There is no hiding the euphoria generated by Messi in Miami as he begins the new Major League Soccer phase of his career in one of the most Latin cities in the United States. But his arrival is also bringing a note of sadness as fans know that at age 36, he is nearing the end of his career. Messi announced on June 7 that he will play for Inter Miami in a move that is expected to revitalize soccer in the United States and South Florida with one of the sporting world's best known figures. More than 100,000 Argentines live in Miami, which will host World Cup matches in 2026. The seven-time winner of the Ballon d'Or, the soccer world's most prestigious individual award, is coming off two years with Paris Saint-Germain and is expected to make his Inter Miami debut against Mexican team Cruz Azul on July 21.